Hey guys, it's Heidi from YA Bibliophile here with the Christmas edition of In My Mailbox. Now I'm filming this on Christmas Eve, a couple of hours before I go to my family's Christmas, but obviously it'll be posted tomorrow on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, if not, Happy Holidays, and I just wish you joy in this season. Um, I am, I wasn't necessarily going to do an In My Mailbox, but I got a lot of really cool things and I just wanted to um, thank the people who sent them to me, so I decided to do one anyway, and it would be kind of fun and it's a way to pass the time before um, I have to leave for our family Christmas. So to start off, I'm going to um, show you some books that I got from some different publishers. Um, the first one I got from Macmillan Audio is an audio of Cinder. Um, this one, the cover kind of freaks me out just because you can see like... Um, it's a Cinderella story, but Cinderella is a cyborg, and you can see kind of like the mechanical parts in her leg, and that just, like, it hurts. <laughs> um, but anyway, so Cinder takes place in New Beijing, so it's New World Futuristic. Cinder is um, a cyborg, and she, that's not really um, okay in her society, it's not really accepted. Um, her stepmother is not very nice to her, um, and she meets a prince who needs her help. And of course, there's some of the um, typical Cinderella story in there as well, but um, there's more to it. There's a plague that, um, there's a plague that plagues New Earth, I guess. I mean, I don't know what you want to call it. It's been ravishing the, the world. And um, Cinder might hold part of the key to, um, to that. And it's her story. I'm really excited. I've been hearing really great things about it. Um, I was a little leery at first because of the whole cyborg thing, but I think it's gonna be, from reading the back, I think it's gonna be really clever. So thank you, thank you to Macmillan Audio. Um, thank you to Simon and Schuster, Simon Pulse, for sending me Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. I know the cover says The Language of Impossible Dreams, but that's what it was going to be called. They changed it. I actually have a picture here. It's now called Bittersweet, and this is the cover. Isn't that cute? Um, I will be on a blog tour for this one, um, but that's not why they sent me this. They sent it to me as a Christmas present, which was really sweet of them. Um, and it says it's about a girl who... Um, She's betrayed and she's kind of given up um, on her dreams and things like that and she's just kind of trying to live a quiet life out of, you know, just kind of in the in the background. Um, but then something happens that um, maybe gives her hope, but it's also terrifying because when you've been betrayed and you've hoped before and bad things have happened, yeah. Um, and they do, I like this line that they say, um, it is, the novel, this novel is a coming of age story filled with everything from gourmet cupcakes to hot hockey boys to beautiful writing with both humor and heart. Um, so it sounds really good. I've been looking forward to reading it. Um, so yeah, Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. Thank you, Simon Pulse. And then Scholastic sent me Fran um, Francisco X. Stork's new book, um, Irises, and they actually sent me a galley of this as well, but this is a finished copy. Um, so thank you to Scholastic. And it's a story of two sisters. Um, one is going to school to be a doctor, and the other is a bit, um, she just wants to stay home and paint. And that's, it's their story. Um, their dad, who's a bit repressive and kind of controlling, passes away, um, and they have to rely on each other to take care of one another. And their mother, who is in a vegetative state and has been for some time, and so um, these two very different girls have to come together and decide um, if their mother is even going to live, like are they going to keep her on life support or or what? And um, there are some men in their lives that um, help them in this or maybe hinder. But it's the I like that um, it's a story of two sisters who are very different, but um, how they have to come together and decide that. So I, and I loved Marcelo in the Real World and The Last Summer of the Death Warriors, his other two books. So thank you to those publishers. I did also get some fun little Christmas presents. First of all, some of the ladies I work with at Little Brown sent a holiday card that. Um, they signed and filled out, which I thought was really sweet. Um, I just really appreciate that. So thank you to Little Brown um, and to their library department. That was, um, it was, the thought was really nice. Um, also, Erica from the bookseller sent me Major Crush, one of Jennifer Eccles' books. I have read her um, Going Too Far, which is my favorite, Forget You and Love Song, but I haven't read any of her, like, these ones, these contempt romances that are kind of cute. It's a story of a girl who is a pageant queen, um, and she gives up on that and cuts her hair and pierces her nose and tries out to be a drum major. Um, and she wins the drum major in the marching band, but she has to share it with this guy named Drew, whose family has always been the drum majors, and um, there's some romantic tension there. So I'm really excited for that. I love um, her other books. So thank you very much to Erica. And the delightful Shannon from Chick Loves Lit surprised me with Catching Jordan from my Amazon wish list. So thank you, Shannon. You didn't need to do that. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to this one, another contempt romance. Um, it's a story of a girl who is the quarterback and captain of her football team. And she's always just been one of the guys, which is cool for her. All that she wants is to get um, an athletic scholarship. But then the new guy moves to town, and he is also a really good quarterback and hot. 
So maybe being just one of the guys isn't necessarily what she wants. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. I love Dairy Queen by Catherine, um, something word up, Catherine Peterson word up, Catherine, I'm sorry. But um, I love Dairy Queen and it's about a girl who um, kind of goes out for football as well. It sounds like a very different story, but um, I'm really looking forward to it. And then the last book I got, um, one of my friends is letting me borrow, the wonderfully amazing, fabulous, delightful Michelle from Hook to Books is loaning me Bitter Blue. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have no idea how excited I am about this book. I read Gracing when it first came out in 2008 and I just loved it so, 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 so much. Like, I was dying. Um, it was amazing. Um, and I was so excited like I had to have the next one and the next one was fire which I also adored but fire is more of a prequel um, and I wanted to know what happened next so I love fire but I've been waiting for two since 2008 to find out what happens next and that is bitter blue I don't want to tell you too much about it because it will give away some of the events of the other books I haven't started it yet you guys it's huge it's like 500 and some pages um, which I'm thrilled about but it is about eight years it takes place about eight years after the events of Graceling so I am so excited to read this thank you so much Michelle for loaning it to me you know, she didn't even read it first she let, she just letting me read it first and she also read Graceling and Fire and liked them so she's super kind and super generous and you should definitely go check out her blog um, I will link to all of them the ones that I mentioned and so thank you thank you thank you thank you Shannon Erica Michelle everyone else who is super sweet and I hope you all have very fabulous Christmases um yeah DFTBA